Let's go to Luke chapter 14, verses 25 through 27. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. And there went great multitudes with him. And he turned and said unto them. So Jesus is going to begin to speak here. 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. So is this saying that you actually have to hate your family? Let's go to 1 John 4 and 20 right quick. So hold your finger at Luke 14 and 26. If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love God, whom he hath not seen? So this is pretty much saying, if you hate anyone, you are not of God. You are not saved. Okay, let's go back to Luke. So, is this saying that you have to hate your family in order to be a servant of God? No. What this is saying, so many people put their mother first, their wife first, their family first. So many people put many things in front of God. Like God is third or last in their life. So after, so mainly their priority is other people or things. What this is saying, God have to be first in your life. If God is not first in your life, chances are <laughs> you are still in sin. Chances are you are lukewarm. Don't you know that your wife can be your idol? Your husband can be your idol? Your TV or your computer can be your idol. Anything that you are placing before God is pretty much your idol. This is saying, hey, put me first. Stop putting me second, third, fourth, fifth. No, put me first. It is my will first than everything else. Okay, 27. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So what is this saying? Doth not bear his cross. When this came to my mind, I was thinking, dying to yourself. So what does dying to yourself mean? In order to die to yourself, you pretty much are not going to be the way that you always have been. So if you always have been in sin, when you die to yourself, you are becoming more like someone else other than yourself. We are supposed to die to ourselves and become more like Jesus Christ each and every day. So in order, yes, in order to become more like Jesus Christ, we have to follow his rules and regulations. So every day 
you have to die to yourself more and more until you are pretty much looking like or your characteristics is going to be just like Jesus Christ. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So in order to be his disciple, you have to follow his rules and regulations. You have to change. You have to be willing to do what he says. So in verse 26, it is not saying that you have to hate your mom. <laughs> hey, mom, the Bible says I have to hate you. <laughs> mom, I hate you. Dad, I hate you too. Because the Bible says I have to hate you. No, this is saying, <laughs> my Lord, this is saying that you have to place God first in your life. Stop placing him third, fourth, fifth, last in your life. When you do that, no wonder why you stay in sin. No wonder. So let me stop here. God bless you.